Have you ever wondered why a cold melon is totally different than a warm one? Especially in a warm day of summer like today, what you need is a cold and juicy melon. Let's get into the science behind this refreshment and see why a cold melon hits totally different. Alright, I know that my taste buds have some receptors for basic taste and their activity is affected by temperature. For sweetness, these are heterodimer receptors. When this melon is cold, the activity of these receptors is actually suppressed. So what I feel is more balanced and less sweet than a warm melon, which is actually more appealing and favorable during a warm day. In addition, the cold temperature of the melon also suppresses the bitterness receptor. Therefore, if there is any subtle bitterness, you may not feel that. And what you get is a cleaner, more balanced, and more enjoyable sweetness in such a warm day of summer. Now let's talk about the smell. You know the smell of these melons come from some volatile organic compounds. These are some molecules that evaporate from the surface of these melons and their evaporation from the surface is actually dependent on the temperature. For a warm melon, you are going to get more volatile organic compounds flying away from it. And this is because a high temperature gives those molecules a more kinetic energy to escape from the surface of the melon. That's why if you have some warm melon, you might feel the smell would be too overpowering. However, for a cold melon, the amount of volatile organic compound escaping from the surface of the melon is much less. There is not gonna be too much of those molecules to saturate the olfactory system inside your nose. That's why the refined scent makes the whole experience more pleasing and refreshing. Okay, let's talk about the texture. You know the texture of the melon comes from their turbo pressure inside their cells. And the turbo pressure is actually the pressure of water inside the cell that is completely dependent on the temperature. So when I bite into a cold watermelon, that crunch comes from that higher turbo pressure inside the cells. On the other hand, for a warm melon, the cell wall softens due to warmer temperature. And that drops the turbo pressure inside the cells. That's why you feel a softer texture. Cold also helps by lowering the activity of softening enzymes like pectinases, which would normally break down the cell walls. So if the melon is warm, you might feel a mushier and softer texture, which is not really appealing. The cold also gives me a physical cooling sensation that enhances the feeling of refreshment, making the melon to be a perfect treat for a hot day. Alright, that's all for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.